Have you guys ever wondered what a prestige master's armory, his creative classes, his operators are, or anything like that? Well, today is your lucky day because I'm going to be going through all my creative classes, my operators, and armory. And that was such a cheap intro, man. But anyways, we're going to be going through my armory, my creative classes, my operators, and all the stuff you get once you get reach prestige master. Now, I've been a prestige master for a good two, two and a half weeks, I think, and maybe even three. I'm not really sure, but... um. I've unlocked a couple of good things and like a lot of people are still believing that when you get to masters you get some certain stuff so I'm going to go through everything and when you get to masters I'm going to say right off the bat you have no luck like there's no there's no difference in changes in like getting armory or getting you know like stuff like elite weapons and stuff I mean I do have a good amount but just it, it's, it doesn't change when you get to masters if anything you earn less to be honest so we're going to get into creative my, cla or cr my creative classes, and we got the ASM one as my first class. Now, you guys can pause the video if you guys want to see a specific class and take it down. They're all really good. I use every single one of them on a daily basis, so just pause the video because I don't want to make this thing like a 12-minute thing. So I got the ASM one. This is my rushing class, really good class. I used to run advanced rifling, but I changed it up for the extended mags because I haven't gotten a speak easy, and I really want that. So I decided to put extended mags on that. Next up, we got the AK-12 Feeder. This is a professional version, which is really, really good. And I have used this gun in every single Prestige video that I've done. And if I didn't have the Feeder, I had the AK-12 G on. So this gun is an absolute beast for going for, like, streaks and stuff. Next up, we got the MP-11 Goliath. I did an Elite Weapons of Advanced Warfare video on that. So if you guys missed that, make sure to go back and go check that out because it was a really good video. I liked it, and it came out pretty good. Next up, we got the Bulldog. This one is for, like, objective-based game modes and, like, uh, rank play or whatever. You guys can clear out uh, hard points or, you know, whatever with the Bulldog. It's a really good class. Definitely recommend taking that down. It's just an absolute beast. The gun's really good. Next up, we got the Ameli Subverter. This is the one that I love. This is the one I've used ever since I unlocked it. It has plus two damage, but it's down in the clip. So it only has 50 bullets per round, but it, it just beats out every, like, just everything. It's an absolute monster. So that's a really good class. I've had that class on since, I think... I pretty much got the subverter, to be honest, so it's a really good gun. Next up, we got the Battle 27 Obsidian Steed. This is the class that I got my first Vicious Medal with, which I was absolutely excited. If you guys missed that video, make sure to go check that out, because that was a really good video, and I really liked that I got the Vicious Medal, because I was aiming for it for a while, and I was getting discouraged. I wasn't going to get one, but I finally did, so that's definitely a really good class, a lot, really stealthy class. Next up, we got the IMR. This one is a little bit bipolar, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know if... I like the iron sights or if I like the red dot. I, I don't know what I like with this gun, but I, I, I think this gun's an overall good gun and you can go for DNA bombs and vicious metals with this if you play it safe because it is a burst fire weapon, but then again, it's, it's a really good one. Next up, we got the ARX and this is another burst rifle. The difference between the ARX 160 and the IMR is that this one's four round burst. As you can see right here, it says four round burst, prince round. And then this one right here, the ARX is a three round burst. So... I think the AR, the IMR beats out the ARX, but the ARX has some good damage, man. Like, it, it's actually really, really good. So, next up, we got the HPR A3 Insanity. A lot of people are trying to get their hands on this, and I was lucky enough to get it, I think, in, like, second or third prestige, I think. So, it is an absolute beast of a gun. I usually put the stock on it, but I've been trying out the suppressor. The suppressor is really, really good. So, and then last but not least, I got my BAL-27 and my overkill with my silver bullet. Now... I'm going to say something about the silver bullet. I want to get too hyped up to get it because every t ever since I've gotten it, and I'm a pretty decent sniper. I'm not the best, but I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure that I'm, I am I can hold my own. But the silver bullet, I feel like it's more hit markers than any of these do. And I don't know why because there's plus two damage and plus one accuracy. I think it's its fire rate or its handling. I, I don't know what it is, but just it gets so many hit markers. I don't get it. So then we get the battle 27 regular with the foregrip and quick draw and this is a really good class i go on some decent streaks with this it's more for like search and destroy or something and you can always switch up and take off like the aerial assault drone and maybe put some mute on there if you're playing um you know competitively or you could take off you know all your streaks and put on like the mute device or you could put on like a stun grenade i know that's a popular class like exactly how i have it right there for competitive and i think they put lightweight or something on but that's a pretty cool class so those are my creative classes next up we got my characters We'll show you i got this dude right here i got featured on chaos x silencers channel for this uh head piece right here which is really really cool and i was really honored to do that so if he's watching this video shout out to you thank you and the mastery helmet a lot of people are debating whether the mastery helmet or the humiliation uh helmet which is i'll show you right now which i think is in operations yeah this one the joker helmet i think personally this joker helmet is a lot harder but then again supposedly sledgehammer 
sent me like you know or added me on twitter and stuff and said that this was like one of the hardest helmets to get which i don't really agree with but it's it's whatever it's all good but this is my dude i have him i'll keep him there forever this is my little panda man right here i got that little panda dlc and it looks really sick with this outfit so i really like it the only thing i wish they would change is the bamboo like kind of neck like i wish they would make that black and if they made that black it would be absolutely complete like that'd be so cool next up we got my man tony you guys remember tony he's in every single freaking video or not every single video every video that carries around an lmg this is my like marine dude and i don't know why he has that chest piece on we gotta switch that up where is it uh there it is yeah but that's my man tony if you guys don't know my man tony carries around all my lmgs in my episodes and stuff when i do like the live gameplays and stuff any lmg i play with the ameli whatever he carries it around for me so then last but not least, we got my Prestige Master guy. Now, this is all the gear you get through Prestige Master. I did a video on it. Make sure to go check that out. I'll slowly go through it. My Atlas Tier 1 helmet, or fastly go through it. I guess it's not even a word. Atlas Tier 1 shirt, my loadout, my gloves. Then we got my pants, my knee guards. Then we got my boots, and then we got my EXO. So that's really cool. Oh, and yesterday's video, here's the boots I was talking about, the Marksman boots that I compared it to, they look exactly the same, don't they? I know, right? <laughs> Anyways, but there's my four guys. We can, we'll can we go, I don't really want to go into the player cards and everything, but here's my combat record right now. It's pretty much stable. I'm still trying to get my KD up, but I just, I, I don't know. Like I play, I've play, i been playing this game on and off. I don't know why, but just, I, I'm excited to start my Road to Commander series when I get the Xbox One, because I, I definitely want to go to Prestige Master once again, or because they have no reset thing. And I've always told everybody, like, why don't you reset? Like, Oh, you scared to reset? Like, I'm really not. If I could reset right now, I would. If they gave me the option solely to reset, I would. Because I, I wish I had better stats and stuff. And just, it, it, it sucks. But I played a little bit of rank play. I haven't checked what I am in Team Deathmatch. Because I haven't played for a while. Like I said, yeah, I'm 81. I'm going way back up. I think my lowest was like 37 or something like that. And now I'm at 81. Like, that just shows how much I haven't been playing. But next up, we'll go into my loot. I'll make this real quick. Um... I'll show you all my... No, actually, what should I show you? My time? Well, that's not really important. Uh, permanent. Uh, I guess we could show you my... We could show you all loot. All right, so... I'm going to only really point out the obsidian... Like, not the obsidians. The, the like, elite weapons, because those are the most important. And I'm pretty sure that's what you guys like to see. But I'm going to go through these kind of quick. You guys can pause the video and stuff if you want to check something out. But there's the MK14 Eclipse, which is pretty good if you got a really good trigger finger. And Nighthawk, which is really cool. Um, this Mana Wharf and the Spoliator and the Condensed. If you're wondering, you get these from getting 300 kills with that weapon, which is pretty cool. Got the Insanity, the Magnitude, which is an absolute beast. It's really good. Uh, let's see, the Goliath, Bacon and Eggs. You got the Whirlwind. Let's see, Parsec, I haven't used. Atlas 20mm, which is really good. Mayhem Fused. We got the Whale Horn. And then this stuff was from the pre order, like the Atlas Edition, Atlas Pro Edition. I think it cost like the $120 or something like that. It was crazy. But I was actually kind of depressed about that because I thought it'd be like some big package like Black Ops 2 with the uh, care package like Crate and stuff. And, you know, like all, like Call of Duty Ghost with their big package. Like, I don't know. I was kind of disappointed by it because it came like a steelbook case and, um, you know, stuff like that. So it's kind of depressing, I guess, for paying $120. But here's some tops, some pants. Here's some more tops and some pants. Or no, some masks and some pants. I really like that Sentinel Recon helmet. I'm trying to get the one that has the face covered. That'd be pretty cool. So here's some more helmets. I got my Panda one right there. I got this one. And if you guys saw in yesterday's video, this is the, like, the green version of it. You have to get, I think, 25 or 50 kills with an LMG or something like that. So it's pretty worth it. It's easy. You got these. You got the campaign helmet. I got a video on that too. Got a video on this helmet right here. This one was pretty cool. I, I used to really like... I used to rock it all the time, but... I got the panda helmet, so it's pretty cool. So that's what it looks like. Pretty neat helmet. I like it. We got the royalty cap, orbital helmet. Let's see what else we got. The mailstorm loadout, recon loadout, weapons master. Uh, let's see. We got the recon pads, the royalty. What else we got in here? Atlas tier one shin guards. We got some royalty gear. I think I got all the royalty gear. I don't know if there's exos or anything. I'm pretty sure there's not, but I pretty much got all four of the pieces that are available now. So. Got some stuff in here, and if anybody knows how to get the Cent Centurion Exo or the like, the gear that it has, let me know because I don't know how I got it. And it's a pretty sick uh, Exo and stuff. I really like it. So there's a lightning thing, and then I got a couple more in here. I just got this one today. So as you can see, I mean, I got a lot of Exos, but a lot of them were like I don't know, like a lot of them you 
I pretty much like bought or did challenges with. Like this one I bought, this one Prestige, this one I bought. This one was I think from uh campaign, right? Yeah. No, this one's from campaign. This one is from the Atlas Pro edition. This one's a challenge. I think this one may be a challenge. I don't know, but this is a supply drop or I think you get it for leveling up. This one you get for leveling up and just, you know, all the other ones were luck. So it's pretty cool. I haven't gotten too much. So, you know, like the permanent or no, not permanent. The time loot is in here. I got some bloodshed stuff. Not really important, but that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much what it looks like to be a prestige master. And this was a 10 minute video. I apologize for that. Jesus. But like, that's pretty much all it is. So as you can see, I don't really have the best of luck with stuff, you know, when you get to Prestige Master, you still got to unlock all your stuff. You got to unlock all your... Well, I have all the attachments for that one. And I think this one... Yep. And do I have it for this one? Uh, No, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, but you, you still have to unlock all your attachments and stuff. So it, there's not really a point to rush to Prestige Master, especially at this state in the game. Like, because the first DLC isn't out. And, like, a lot of people that rush to Prestige Master, like, are bored of the game now. Because there's not really much to do, including me. So, like, that's why when I get the Xbox One in a couple days, like, I'm going to be um, doing the Road to Commander and going to Prestige Master again. And now that the weapon uh, challenge or whatever thing is fixed, like, I won't level up as fast, but I'll be leveling up pretty decently. So, we'll see. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. it definitely helps me out a ton. Helps my channel grow. You guys know the drill. And subscribe for more future Call of Duty content. And it's been Delta, and I'm out.